Uh, today we're going to talk about accessing the power of your menstruation. If you have a journal, I would highly recommend taking it out. I'm going to give you lots of beautiful inquiries that you can use kind of throughout your week and just sort of explore uh, this topic a little bit more. So, are you accessing the power of your menstruation? Do you believe that your menstrual energy is power? Right? How does it feel to say that? My menstruation is pure power. How does that feel? Can you invite that thought in? Years ago, I used to really hate my bleed, okay? I used to hate my bleed, the pain was terrible. I would pop Tylenol 3s like they were candy. I even went on daily birth control for four years. So I didn't bleed for four years, okay? And I really, really believed that this was the only solution. I was at a war with my own body and the doctors did not get it and they had no compassion. And I know a lot of women can relate to that, right? No compassion from the doctors. It's terrible, so if you're experiencing that, I'm so sorry. Uh, they only made it worse, really, right? For me, I can say the doctors made it worse because they just pulled me away from my power, right? They just pulled me away from my power even more. They didn't offer ways to uh, be with it, to love it, to nurture it. They offered ways to only suppress and block it. And that's what the media does as well, right? So the media is kind of offering us ways to hide it, to suppress it, you know, like the commercials that you see or the ads that you see where it's like a woman jumping on a trampoline, like you'd never know that she's bleeding or, you know, a woman in like a white pantsuit, you know, like she's bleeding. Can you believe it? She feels so confident. <laughs> like if she were to show her blood, it would just be like the worst thing ever. Um, so this is the message that we get from everyone, right? And this is so hopeless, this feels so hopeless. So do you feel like you can channel your power? Do you feel like you can channel your menstrual power? Or is it an annoyance to block, okay? That's something to really, um, to really think about, to inquire. Uh, what is your perception about your blood? right? So why do so many women suffer with their menstruation? And if it's not you yourself personally, I'm sure that you have girlfriends, family members, maybe your own mom. Uh, we all have women that we know in our lives, if it's not us uh, personally, that are suffering with their menstruation. So common. Uh, and then the bigger question is this, what is the global perception on menstruation, right? What is the global perception on menstruation? So what comes up for me is the global perception is guilt, shame, right? Guilt and shame, embarrassment, fear, mocking. Uh, I can't tell you that a global perception commonly from any woman that I've spoken to has been one of positivity, right? Like, oh, well, when women are bleeding, like everyone celebrates it. It's, it's powerful. Women are so sacred, especially on their bleed. Like we don't really hear that, right? So then you have to think about those low vibrations, guilt, shame, fear, embarrassment. Uh, how, does those, how do those thoughts and feelings serve us, right? How does that serve our natural functioning body, okay? As an example, if I look in the mirror every single day and I say, you are ugly, you are so disgusting. If I tell myself this every day, what will happen to me energetically, physically, emotionally? Right? How will that show up in my life? I see women do this every day to themselves regarding their bleed, right? So if you think looking in the mirror and saying that to yourself every day is extreme, well, women do this every day when it comes to their bleed. I see women mocking, joking, and hating on their bodies and their uterus every single day. I even, see, you may have seen this, there's comics of a uterus and it looks like a villain, like an evil villain. Okay, this is what we do. It's like we're internalizing all of this abuse towards ourselves, uh, kind of going in alignment with what we see in the media, in society, in our culture. So that has to stop, right? That has to stop. Uh, you are your own inner healer, okay? And I would invite you to explore that message for as long as you need because knowing that we have the power, sometimes it's a little bit hard to accept that we can take action, that we're in control of our lives. But you do have the power. Okay, so take as long as you need with that. I am my own inner healer, maybe putting it in your journal. It takes a lot of unlearning first, okay? That's the first step is there's a lot of unlearning because you've been receiving messages from your family perhaps, from society, from the media for your whole life about what menstruation is. So it's not a quick switch of like, oh, well now I love my blood, now it's this way. No, 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 you've got to pause. You gotta be patient with yourself and you've gotta release and unlearn all of the gunk, right? 
Uh, blood is power is not a prominent message for women. It just isn't, right? The first part of my course that I do, I have a course called Reclaiming Your Feminine Power, and it's purely dedicated just to the unlearning. So unlearning is huge, okay? It's a huge part of the process. Shining a light on the bullshit, <laughs> what we've been fed about our blood, uh, is huge. And a lot of it has been quite unconscious and not very obvious messages, very subliminal messages that we've been absorbing like a sponge throughout the years. So taking time there to unlearn is vital. Next, in accepting your full power of your bleed and inviting that healing and that accepting in is knowing that you're not only suffering physical pain with your bleed time, whether that's bloating, cramping, you know, there's so many things that happen with our menstruation, right? So you're not purely just having a physical experience. It's also an emotional and an energetic experience as well, right? My menstruation relationship right now is not just a physical connection, it's energetic, emotional, and spiritual as well. There's these layers to my being, and they all deserve my attention, not just the physical, which is what the doctors do, right? They look at the physical body, but like there's more to you. You're a very diverse creature, multifaceted creature. So that's where I live, and that's what I dive into, okay? So my approach is a biopsychosocial approach, and it means diving into your physical, energetic, and your spiritual experience, okay? You're like, uh, you know those Russian dolls? <laughs> the little ones, and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what you are. So you've got all these little layers, and you've got to go to each little doll. You've got to tap in, and you've got to invite the healing in. You've got to do the unlearning on everywhere, right? And once you do that, you know, then you kind of pave the way. You open the pathway to accessing the power of that true experience. So thank you for listening. Thank you so much for listening, and I'd love to stay connected with you. I've got a wonderful uh, private Facebook page, Wild and Empowered Women. You can get the link in this post. I'd love to see you on there. Um, you can join my newsletter if you go to wildwomb.space. You can sign up if you scroll to the bottom. And if you're ready, if you're listening to this, you're like, I am so ready to love my blood and to access its full power, uh, I hope that you join my workshop. Okay, So it's accessing the, your menstrual power, your menstrual energy for optimal health. And there's so much wisdom in this workshop, this two-hour workshop. Whether you show up live or you just watch the replay, uh, you can take the medicine as you like. And thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you in the workshop, and I hope to connect with you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.